Okay, we play a little game of if you only knew. Okay. What's sorry. the biggest risk you ever took? Actually, leaving Dance with the Stars and joining World of Dance as a judge was a risk, you know? Yeah, sure. Because Dance with the Stars was a proven successful show. World of Dance was just an idea. How's World of Dance doing? Great. Very, very good. We're going to third season, so. Strangest fan encounter? I think one where I signed a young lady's arm, and then she came back a week later, and she had gotten my signature tattooed on her. And I, I honestly was like, I wish you would have told me I would have done a much better signature and <laughs> done a cool design. That's a fan. Yeah, yeah. Most challenging dance to perform? Probably a rumba with my sister. Why? <laughs> Because the rumba is the dance of love. <laughs> and so, so I was dancing that. I was like, this, we just, we would just ended up making jokes about it and laughing about it instead of taking it seriously. I thought it's the samba. Samba is the party dance, the fun dance. Like, you know, Brazil, like the. Yeah. 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 Carnival. Sexy. What's the sexiest dance? I mean, they can all be pretty sexy. Well, <laughs> last great book you read? A Man's Search for Meeting. Meaning by um, Victor Frankl. Something you change about the world. Probably people's focus, right? I think focus. I think that, you know, right now there's so much focus on what's bad. Um, and I feel like that just sort of feeds into it and amplifies Wanna focus things. on what's good? Let's focus on what's good and, you know, breathe, breathe more life into that. What's something you can't live without? Water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Honest, I mean, I know. I've heard that before. I know. Someone from history you would like to dance with? Gene Kelly. Best piece of advice you ever got? What if the world isn't happening to you, but if what if it's happening for you? What's the worst piece of advice you ever got? That if you're on top, you won't have any friends. Meaning, like, the more successful you are, the less friends you'll have. That's not true. And I don't believe it. And, you know... Stranded on a desert island, what three things you bring with you? Uh, a guitar. I need some music. Um, water. <laughs> need the water. <laughs> I gotta have me with some water. Um, and probably uh, some sunscreen. First thing you do when you get out of bed? I actually roll my ankles because I have, I've had some ankle injuries in the past, and so I just break up that scar tissue in the morning. Do you practice dance a lot? Yeah, absolutely. Do you have to? You know, if you don't if you don't practice, you lose, you know, you lose the skill. I've had musicians tell me if they don't play one day, they know it. If they don't practice two days, the world knows it. Ooh, that's true. I believe that. Biggest perk of being a celebrity. Having a platform to talk to people, you know, honestly, to connect with a large audience. Yeah. It's a, it's fortunate. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Man, uh, popcorn. <laughs> I love popcorn. Someone you're dying, somewhere you're dying to visit. Thailand, maybe? Or I, I, I'm sure there's way more interesting places. I just can't think of them right now. I, I did Petra last year, which was really cool. I heard. Very amazing. Very cool. If you had one day to spend a million dollars, what would you buy? Probably a house for my mom, and nice. yeah, a house for my mom, and, and, and a lot uh, of water. And a lot of water. <laughs> Luxury you can't live without. Uh, uh, my car, mm, you know, especially living in LA. Especially what kind of car do you have? Uh, Mercedes S five hundred. It's a nice car. Yeah. Yeah. Biggest fear of not living up to my potential, you know, knowing my potential, and not and not sort of reaching that. Derek Huff in ten years. Alive? Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.